Hello and thank you for watching. This is SDSC back again with LEGO Transformers Ripper. Now Ripper here is kind of a cross between a bulldozer and a bobcat. And he's named after the large rippers that he has on his back. Which, if you'd prefer, you can always fold up a little bit. Just so they don't look quite as ridiculous on the back there. And they can almost look like some kind of guard on the back of the tread, maybe. Taking a closer look, you can see the cab in the center with the window represented by the black. You can also see these little hydraulics. And you can see the armature where the shovel would connect. Of course, on the real thing, it would all pivot at this point. But here, it's actually two separate pieces. You can see the shovel is actually connected in there and the arms aren't connected at all. So unfortunately you can't really lift the shovel up the way it's supposed to, but you can lift it at this joint and then move the arms to make it kind of look like it's been moved by the arms. For size comparison, here he is with a minifigure. And Starscream. That's all there is to say about this simple little mode, so now it's time to transform. And here we have Ripper in his robot mode. And in this mode, he's a lot like a Doug from Star Wars. His legs and arms have swapped places, and his arms are noticeably smaller than his legs. And you can see that his namesake, the Rippers, have formed long toenails. Turning him around, you can see that his back is formed by the shovel of the bulldozer. He's definitely an interesting little robot, and he has kind of a bestial scavenger feeling with these little T-Rex-like arms and these very bestial legs with digitigrade knees. For a size comparison, here we have a Ripper with a minifigure. And with Starscream. For articulation, Ripper has a neck pivot that allows him to look left and right. At the little arms, his arms can go up and down, and they can kind of go in and out on this joint, though I like to keep them kind of in this position. So they kind of look like the wrists are facing downwards. Then the legs are on a joint that allows them to go forward and back, and kind of uh, pivot like this. Unfortunately, you can't really spread the legs out very much because they are underneath the neck. So if you tried to push them further, they would just put the uh, neck up a little bit. So, unfortunately, they can only really spread out about this much. Then, at the knee, he's got a joint that has pretty much unlimited movement. It can also swing in like this. Then he has a second knee that can uh, bend freely. A pivot here. And a bend at the little toes. Because of his very unconventional and alien robot mode, it can be kind of hard to pose Ripper. But he never looks boring, because even in a stock standing pose, he looks pretty gnarly. And I have to say he reminds me of the Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons, and how they all had kind of unique, weird, almost bestial designs to them. 
and I think he'd fit in pretty well amongst them as a little expendable scout. But in the end, this guy is a pretty simple little build, and I only have so much to say about him. So, I'll see you next time.